Aphids on fruit trees can be a big problem, especially for young trees that can become overwhelmed. I have a cherry tree, a plum tree and an apple tree and all have been affected by aphids over the years. If left unchecked, a fruit tree will produce much less fruit or no fruit at all. It will look ugly and may even die. This video describes how I control aphids on my fruit trees. There are a number of techniques for doing this, but what I show in this video is what works for me. For more growing tips and advice, please subscribe to my channel or visit my website. See the link below the video. The first sign of an aphid problem is usually the leaves starting to curl. This happens when aphids cluster on the underside of the leaves, sucking out the sap. This damages the leaves and will eventually cause them to blacken. If left unchecked, a young tree may be left without any healthy leaves. Unfortunately, natural predators to aphids like ladybirds will not by themselves be able to control an aphid attack, as aphids multiply so quickly. My approach to controlling aphids on fruit trees is to control the ants that farm them. In my experience, a severe aphid attack is nearly always caused by ants. Ants like to farm aphids, as aphids excrete a sweet liquid called honeydew. Indeed, ants are not the only insect to like honeydew. Often bees will visit a fruit tree experiencing an aphid attack too, which is another early sign of an aphid problem. Ants protect aphids from predators and carry the aphids all over the tree helping them multiply. My solution is simple. I stop ants being able to move from their nest on the ground up and down the tree trunk. To do this, I use tree grease. The great thing about tree grease is that it can be pushed into ridges in the bark, providing no route for ants to climb and ascend a tree. When tree grease is first applied, ants are confused and search hurriedly to find a way through the grease. This is a great test of whether the tree grease forms an impenetrable barrier. I find the easiest way of applying tree grease is to use a putty knife or a similar flat bladed tool. If a tree is supported by stakes or poles, these will also need to have tree grease applied to them too. Use the tool to create a ring around the trunk of the tree approximately two inches wide, pushing the tree grease into the bark. Aside from making it easy to apply the tree grease, a putty knife is also easy to clean by wiping away any grease on the knife using some kitchen paper. This is far easier than cleaning a paintbrush. For the application to be successful, it is essential that there is no alternative way up for the ants to get to the leaves. An example of how determined and resourceful ants are is how they manage to climb onto the cherry tree in my garden. From my cherry tree, I had run lengths of bird scare tape to canes to help keep birds off the fruit. Unknown to me, my raspberry bush next to the cherry tree had grown taller and started to touch the bird scare tape. Ants had worked this out, climbing the raspberry bush and then somehow balancing and walking across the tape to get to the cherry tree. I was amazed by this, as the tape is designed to blow around like a flag in the wind yet somehow the ants made it across. To stop this, I pruned back the rosemary bush and removed the bird scare tape. Problem solved. I have found by controlling the ants, at least 90% of the problem of aphids is reduced. It seems to bring the tree back into equilibrium so that natural predators like ladybirds can keep aphids under control. However, for young trees, I also deal with the remaining aphids on the leaves. This is easy to do by mixing a little washing up liquid with water in a spray bottle. I spray all the leaves affected by aphids, gently rubbing away the aphids as I go. The rubbing is important to ensure that all the aphids are covered by soapy liquid and to wash them off the tree. The next day I come back to check whether any aphids remain and if necessary reapply. An alternative to spraying is to use a water jet to dislodge aphids. This is effective and faster than spraying, but I find there is a risk of accidentally knocking off any developing fruit and missing some aphids. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like this video or leave a comment and it would be great to hear any suggestions and techniques you may have for controlling aphids. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. After subscribing, 
click the bell to ensure you're notified every time a new video is added.